Well, I've been coming to Yapsi for a long time, a long time. Uh, when Jim talked to me yesterday about what this session was, because I missed the morning uh, talk, he said, do you still happen to have the slide deck that you presented at Yapsi, uh, the first one, Yapsi in 99? And I said, I think so, but I think it's in FrameMaker, and FrameMaker's long gone on the Mac. Uh, but I just luckily had produ produced a set of PDFs as a backup. So that's what I'm presenting now. So this is a talk I gave at Yapsi 1999, the very first one. Uh, it says a very short course, but it's actually quite long. I'm going to be editing it as we speak. Um, and it was basically about reducing business risk using Perl. So, and do I mean use Perl instead of other things, or use Perl correctly? And the answer was yes. So there's two halves to this talk. First is why Perl, and that's meant for managers to select Perl instead of other languages. And the second half is how Perl. Think of it as uh, Perl best practices before Damien wrote his book. And we're going to see now, after 20 years, how many of those are out of date. This is pretty remarkable. OK. So this is all it's common stuff. I like this, though, because I actually took the client list that Stonehenge had while we were doing all our trainings and, and consulting. And it was a, quite a list of impressive people for that. Tons of little names there. And this is all stuff we all know. So I'll just skip over that, too. And at this point, only Learning Pro 2nd Edition and Learning Pro and Win32 systems existed. And the funny part is when I, Learning Pearl and Win32 came out, people asked me, how is it different from Learning Pearl? And I said, I don't know. I wrote the parts that were the same, not the parts that are different. <laughs> Eric Olson wrote all those. <laughs> so um, and again, this is all stuff we know. And no, I don't need to explain this code. You all know what this is. Uh, yeah, this is all just basic, you know, what is Pearl to try to teach managers that this is a reasonable thing to have. Uh, and give them kind of an overview at their level. So that's what the original title of the talk was meaning. And there are some good books and good courses. But here's the part where it gets fun. First slide, Y2K. <laughs> remember, when, remember, that first Yapsu was 1999. This was a problem, right? The second was 19100. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just to make up fun of this slide. Yes, exactly. And then now this slide's obviously broken too. You don't, this was just say don't use Pearl 4 anymore. But now it's completely broken because we have Perl 6. Ah, and CGI PM, remember that? <laughs> At least it was better than CGI Live PL, which is the whole point of this slide. And then, of course, use the function imports, not the object interface. Reduce duplicated code by putting it into subroutines. Keep your global variable usage to a minimum, obviously. You know, this is, this is best practices on a very small scale. Um, warnings, t dash W, <laughs> remember that? Remember we did that everywhere? Right not use warnings. Uh, flock your files so that you don't, don't do double writes. Oh, remember .ph files? Oh, does this go back? Does this go way back? Remember sys slash socket .ph for those who've been programming for 20 years in Perl? Yeah. And there's also the right modules in inet, right? Use socket or use io socket, inet, and so on. But if you're just talking mail, read on. Now, I've got to remind you what was happening in the U.S. at 1999. I'll just say Clinton. Okay, so I wrote this as an example. It says, I don't know if you can read that, but it's mail from president at notsowhitehouse.gov. And the body of the message is, I resign effectively immediately. Amazing how times have changed. <laughs> just if we could only get them to send this mail, right. Uh, always check return values. Uh, don't leave dead child, children lighting about. I really had a double take about whether I was leaving that the title, but it, it's literal. I mean, that's really what I mean, right? Don't leave zombies. Uh, document your code, pod, all that sort of stuff. Uh, use debugging, controlled by a global variable. That way you can enable or disable. Of course, now I would use log and things like that instead. And Perl style for additional ideas. And then remember we were all worried about taint stuff because it was all about when you're getting values in on the web. And of course, that's all. I don't know if anybody even uses taint mode anymore anywhere. Is anybody still using it in any apps that you got? Okay, a couple. A couple over there in the corner. That's why they're back in the corner. All right. So I talked about the actions that were dangerous once taint mode was enabled. Um, and I asked about, I, I, I consulted about how to get around some of those. And here was the one, this one has another Clinton reference. No need for shells to launch children. Notice down in the search for, search for Monica. Yeah, yeah, 1999, remember, remember. Uh, also, try to code to avoid the shell if you can. You can code to avoid forking by using 
built-ins to talk to, I don't know, get DNS lookups and things like that. And uh, hidden fields aren't so hidden really. Don't put sensitive data in the get URL. These are all common web things now, but you know, this, that's kind of what Perl was heavily used for back then. Don't kind of refer, which the footnote, I know you can't see the footnote, it says it's not even spelled right. <laughs> so you can't count on that at all. And uh, set your own path if you're working in a CGI environment, things like that. And the HTTP username, uh, you know, whatever there. Don't use bin mail to send mail. Use a valid return address when sending mail. Um, and uh, how to write standard error. Let's see if there's anything that's, throw away bad books. Uh, now I had an investment in this slide, so. <laughs> there are some scary books out there. Be sure to check the reviews. Some books have typos. Some typos are so bad the programs wouldn't even compile. There was that really thick book of uh, uh, Pearl in a, in a weekend or something. There was some big thick book that broke, yes. Anyway, uh, get good support for advanced technology and here's a bunch of URLs, half of which don't work anymore. That's kind of that way. Now that ding was for my first talk, right? Okay, good, yeah. Okay, all right. So the second part of the talk, uh, again, Jim suggested this talk is the one I wanted to bring out. Jim also suggested the next thing I'm about to do. For those of you that went to the 2004, um, let's see if I pull this out so I can get it closer to my speaker. Well, maybe this will work. Uh, I, I, got the, I got my volume cranked up. For those of you that went to the, uh, the uh, YAPSI in um, Buffalo, you noticed that I wasn't there. I was actually there at um, Jim's location, the University of Buffalo, University at Buffalo, sorry. He's gonna kill me if I don't say it that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, had to get, I had to learn that real quick. Um, he's, um, um, uh, so, so anyway, so we decided that since we were together before the conference, that we would make a little video, and some of you have seen this, but I'm gonna play it. Sorry, operator error. Fast to this. install this fast to this thing. Oh, what is that, the new productivity software? I don't know. This is software for the rest of us. I don't even know what it does. I just no longer it wants me to get installed. Oh, oh here comes over. Hey, man. All right, see you, man. Hi, Peter. How's it going? Uh, Good to see you've got the new Festivus software. You know, we need that installed by mm, Tuesday. Will that be okay? Yeah, Great. I just well, I just got it this morning. Great. I don't know no, yet, uh, I, but you I understand that it's important for our productivity to have it installed by Tuesday. Yeah, we talked about it last week. He said that it had to be Great. installed. I Great. Great. Very good. Uh, yeah, Bill, you notice I was looking at the software and I noticed that I need some uh, more permissions if I'm going to install this on the server. Oh, right. You'll need to take care of that by calling Nick. I'm sure you're familiar with Nick. Not Nick Burns. Yes, and I think you can take care of that I all that just guy. fine. Great. Just take care of it. I know you'll be on top of it. Great. All right. All right. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Tuesday. That'd be great. <laughs> Who's the 133 megahertz brain bugging me this time? Oh, yeah. Hey, Nick. That was me. I gave you a call. Uh, I gotta install this stupid Festivus software. Oh, it's the software that's stupid, is it? Well, I'm having a hard time with it. Let me put it that way. I thought maybe I could take the uh, software from here, put it on my uh, computer here, and upload it to the server. As you know, Festivus 9.0 is server software, not PC software. So you're gonna need permissions. Well, that's true. I was trying to get it. I thought maybe... So move! Oh. Hi, Peter. How's it going? Oh, hey, Bill. Great. Just wanted to come by to check on how that installation of Festivus is coming along. Yeah, you know, it's not going all so good, two Bill. by Tuesday. Or it is Tuesday today, huh? Yeah, Bill, I know we talked about Tuesday, but there's a lot of stuff here, and I'm getting all kinds of errors when I'm trying to install it, and it's just not going very good. 
Well, so you know, what's very important for this software I, to be no, I, I got the, I got did the you memo, get the memo? I, I did. I got did the, memo, the memo. And I know that everybody's waiting for the software, but I'm just I'm having trouble here. Well, did you call Nick? I did. Nick stopped up. He was, uh, well, he was Nick. Well, that's still not your concern. I think you need to get this installed, and if we need another copy of this delivered to you, I'll arrange it. No, actually, this is fine. I got one copy of the software. You got the really memo need. about I how did. this is important. I got the, yes, I did. Because the remember, memo. what's good for the company is good for all of us. Uh, so right. have this installed by 2 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, Great. All right. Very good. Thanks, Bill. Hey, Peter, what's this I hear? You can't get the Festivus stuff installed. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get installed. I'm just getting all these errors. I don't know what the problem is. You know, it's Tuesday. Did you did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo, all right? But I just, I, I don't know what's going on. We have the same configuration. It's exactly like what they say in the book, but it's all these errors. The thing just won't run. I don't know what the deal is. You know, you can't be the only one having problems with this. Why don't you uh, do a search on the Internet and see if uh, anyone's you know, but That's probably a good idea. I've been staring at this long enough. Uh, I think I'm going to try that. Yeah. All right, uh, I gotta go. Uh, let me know how that goes, and if you need a copy of that memo, let me know. All right, thanks. I got the memo. Hey, Peter, how's that uh, festival stuff coming? Uh, well, you know, it's still not great, but uh, well, I did find some stuff on the internet, so uh, I'm checking that out. That looks good. Uh, what'd you find out? Well, it turns out a bunch of people have written like plugins to solve these problems in Perl. I don't know, have you ever, I've never used Perl before, though. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think I've heard of it. Isn't it just a scripting language? I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to try it out, you know? You know, you better. you got to figure out something soon. Lumber is going to be after you. Yeah, I know. I just hope I don't have to call him Nick. <laughs> hey, let me know how that goes. All right, later. Which didn't win sprains got a buffer overflow this time? Oh, hey, Nick. Yeah, I just had to give you a call. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, uh, I'm still working on this Festus mm -hmm. thing. And I tried to import some Perl scripts. Into That'd be amazing if that worked, importing into Perl. I think you need to download from the CPAN. Oh, right. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, and I actually did. I downloaded a few things from the CPAN. Uh, but when I try to run it, like, it does Perl not found. Is your hash bang line properly formed? Um, it's uh, user bin Perl. Well, everybody knows that version 5.6.1 and 5.8 are binary compatible. Oh. I think you need user local bin Perl. Move! <sighs> notes and all the modules and it's all open source so I think we're okay there Bill I think we have a problem. But it's not approved by the company politics system. We can only use Java, JavaScript, and anything that starts with a J. I don't see a J anywhere here. Well you know it wasn't a problem though. You know, I learned a couple of books. I picked it up pretty quick. Uh, I know we did that Java training but it seemed pretty easy and everything was really good. I think I'm just going to have to, again, disagree with you there. I'm going to go check with the company politicians to make sure this is okay. I'll get back to you. All right. Uh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. How are you doing with that uh, Perl training? Now that we've converted everything over to Perl here at the company, uh, we just want to make sure everybody's up to speed. 
Hey Peter, not very well. I'm really not getting most of this. Okay, well I see you got all your books here. So uh, if you have any questions, be sure you call Nick. Oh, Got not it. Nick, no. Yep. This is giving me hell for not having read this book yet. Well, just remember, Bill, we do everything here for the company. So, just want to make sure you keep that in mind. And if Nick's your guy, you'll just have to give him a call. Well, hang in there and let me know if you need another copy of that uh, memo about the Pearl Training. Hey, hey, wait, before you go, what the hell is a Schwartzian transform? <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing that. That was all improv, by the way. We just had kind of an outline on one of the whiteboards, and it was all the, every line was made up. So we had a great time doing that. We shot it in about two hours on a Saturday afternoon. Anyway, so now I'm famous. Thank you much.